Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is ET122 Digital 2. Today we're going to move on to shift registers. So a register, uh, it's a logic circuit that's used to number one, store data, and number two, transfer it, or move it around. Okay, so we've already seen a single flip-flop can store a single bit of information by either setting it and storing a one or resetting it and storing a zero. An example, the book uses D latches just for the heck of it. I'm gonna use a uh, SR latch. So when we apply a one to our S, a zero to our R, and we've enabled it. We've in effect stored a one. And let's see, use an example for our JK flip flop. We want to go ahead and store a zero in this guy. So, what we're going to do is give ourselves a clock. When a clock pulse comes along, as long as we've got a one on the reset, i.e., the K, we've stored a zero in there. Okay? So, that's single bit. Um, now, by using a combination of SR latches, D latches, D flip flops, or JK flip flops, we can store a number of bits equal to the number of devices. That's a register's capacity. Okay, so uh, four D flip flops, for example, have a four bit capacity. Okay, the capability. of a register, it's different from capacity. That's its ability to move things around. So capacity, number, capability, that's how it moves. And the way I like to describe a register's capability is think of a bus, how people get on a bus and how people get off a bus and how they move on, move around in a bus. There's a couple general types of movement capability, all of which have at least two of these three characteristics in common. Number one, how they get in. Do they get in in serial fashion, i.e. one door on the bus and everybody follows everybody in a line right after each other, or parallel? There's a number of doors on the side of the bus and there's 30 doors and 30 people waiting on the sidewalk. The bus pulls up, all 30 doors open, and 30 people get on. So that's how you can get in. Number two, out. How do you get out? Is there one door off the bus? One door off the bus, that means it's serial. 30 doors off the bus, that's parallel. Okay. And number three is kind of your direction, for lack of a better word. Is it left? Is it right? Or is it rotating? Okay, so are people coming in the, in the excuse me, uh, you're coming in, let's, uh, let's just do an example, a serial in, serial out, shift right register. Okay, so here's our capacity of four bits. It's a serial in, they're coming in there, they're shifting right, and they're coming out. So that's a serial in, serial out, shift right register. In contrast to this guy. What's that? Well, exact same thing as this guy, except it's a shift left. Okay? So just think of um, people getting in a line on a bus. Bob, Sally, Joe, um, Jim. Bob gets on. He's there. Then Bob moves forward. Then, obviously what happens here, except my pen is going crazy, 
Those guys move over this way. Joe's right there. You get the picture. My pen has gone crazy on me. Who's the first person off the bus? Obviously, Lob. <laughs> Should be Bob. Okay, so serial in, serial out. Uh, next example. Okay, here's our our door with our excuse me our bus with four doors on it, and here's Bob, Sally, Joe, Jim, waiting on the sidewalk. It's got four doors. They all simultaneously go in, and they all can simultaneously come out. Well, that's an example of parallel in. Parallel out. Doesn't have a left or right on that one. Okay? That's why I say two or three of them. It's got to have an in and an out at least. You don't necessarily need a direction. Okay, so what happens here? Now our bus pulls up. It's got four doors. All four of them get and get on that way, but what's happening is, is they are serial out. So there's one, there's four doors in, only one door out. Okay? And it's shifting in this particular case to the right. Um, last one is, oh no, there's a couple more. Just think about the opposite way. What about this one? It's one door on, but four doors off. What that is, is a serial in. Parallel out. And last one is the rotation, and that's very similar for our, that's uh, unique to the, uh, the serials. What's happening with the rotation is these guys are getting in the bus through this side, they're coming off through the bus through this side, but check this out, this guy just goes back around. Maybe I'll come back on. And that's what a rotation is. As soon as you get off, you go back in, okay? Uh, you can either rotate that direction, right, or you can rotate in this direction. This guy's getting off. He's going back on. You're rotating left. So we're going to take each one of these guys in turn and talk about them. First one we're going to talk about is the serial in, serial out, shift register. Super easy.